everybody, Halo Reach reviewer here today. Probably wondering why I'm holding a Halo Reach of the box in my hand. The reason I'm doing this is because this is my first, and not only I will be doing more. Uh, you can actually expect a few more today. Actually, Halo Reach, the video game review, not an action figure, nothing about an action figures at all. Now, for those of you who do know me, you know me probably by the action figures. And you probably don't know me a lot by uh, me playing video games or anything. I mean, obviously, you know I do play them, but not just Halo Reach. Now, the front here, it's kind of weird because there's black all around it. Just that's because I got um, the Legendary Edition, and you also got it the same way if you've got the Heroic Edition, if I'm correct. And on the front here, we have a nice little picture of Noble Team coming up with a rock. And on the back here, this has some more pictures of the game, Noble Team, and on the back here it says, Welcome to Reach, heart of the UNSC's military power and home to the iconic Spartan Super Soldier. For decades, humanity has fled from the relentless Covenant threat, but now the Larging Covenant fleet over witness looms in the darkened skies over Reach. Noble Team equipped with a deadly arsenal of highly tech weaponry and abilities, and bolstered by the full might of the UNSC, must stand and face a full-scale planetary invasion with humanity's fate hanging desperately in the balance. If Reach fail, falls, little will stand between the Covenant and the complete and total annihilation of the human race. So, right there you can probably tell that this game is going to be very dark and explain a lot of why the Covenant are kind of on Reach and uh, what kind of happened before all the Halos and why Master Chief is the only Spartan. Now, I have to say right away, campaign in this is definitely worth you know even a rental if you have to go rent the game to even try to campaign it, even try to beat it I say try to go get it if you're a big Halo fan I mean obviously you probably already own it but if you're kinda new to it and you wanna try to maybe get in it I actually think Halo Reach is more of a starting point it has nothing to do with the, the other Halos but if you listen if you if you listen to the very end and I'm not gonna give that away it ends up having to really start Halo 1, and then Halo 2, and then Halo 3, it, it, then it starts to chain. Now, was it bad to make this the last game? No. I mean, it's obviously not going to be the last game either. Uh, maybe for Bungie it is. And I think they did excellent on the campaign. If, if I had to get rated right now, uh, the campaign gets a 5. It explains a lot. Really nice campaign. Never really loses pace. I didn't like the first one or two levels, but right after, once it got into the main point, it was boom, you're doing stuff, you're interested, but I mean, if they cut maybe those one or two first levels out, um, it wouldn't bug me too much, uh, that's just my opinion, some people may like those levels. Now, I mean, I'm sure they, they do some stuff, but now another strong point of Halo and the whole franchise was the multiplayer. Now, the multiplayer on here is great. As you can see right here, it's going to get really blurry right now. Right there. I'm actually playing it right now. Alright. And the matchmaking is a lot of fun. It doesn't take a, a long, long time to get into a match. A ton of people on right now. Probably a ton of people on in the next couple of years, if not longer. I mean, Halo is one of the most played games on the Xbox still today, even though Halo 3 came out in 2007. And, you know, for this game to be something they needed to improve and improve and improve, and you think that, you know, there's nothing else to improve, they've improved. Now, another addition to multiplayer that I like personally, I don't know if a lot of people like it, but I like it a lot, are armor abilities. You will see this throughout the game, and really, really nice add-on, probably the best in Halo makes it so much funner, makes multiplayer so much more enjoyable, and makes you want to play the game even more. So, overall, what do I think of this game? Well, the campaign's amazing. It explains a lot. If not, it starts off and tells you a little bit before Halo 1. So it can, it's for beginners and, you know, people who know all of the story. Multiplayer. Probably one of the best around I've ever seen. It has to be one of the funnest I've ever played, and I'm not just saying that because I'm I like Halo. It has to be one of the best multiplayer I've ever seen. So, 
overall, I give this game a 5 out of 5, or a 10 out of 10. So overall, it's just an amazing game, definitely worth a buy, not even worth the chance of, you know, passing up. You know, if you can get this now, get it now. I mean, if you want to rent it, go ahead, but I, I think, you know, once you rent it, uh, you're, you're going to want to buy it. So, hey there, two viewer, same see. Introducing 